everyone, welcome back to Glammy Up. Today I'm bringing you my review of the PMD or the Personal Microdermabrasion Kit. I want to start off by saying that I'm extremely grateful to have received this from PMD and I'm so thankful and I cannot thank the company enough for letting me try this out and sharing my review with you all. And I just want to say that it has truly changed my skin and the way my skin looks entirely and I could not even be more happy with it. So I'm going to go ahead and get into my review of it and I'm going to show you what comes with the kit and also how to use this. So stay tuned for the demo for it as well. So you could go to a salon and get personal microdermabrasion done, but it's going to be extremely expensive and the PMD actually delivers better results than those treatments and you can get it at home. And it's a lot cheaper to purchase the kit one time and have it forever to use and just buy the new heads and stuff whenever you need them than going into a salon and spending a ton of money. So this is the box that it comes with right here and I'm just going to read you the description on the back just so you know what the claims are. It says it promotes cell renewal and rejuvenation using the combination of exfoliation plus suction. So this is something that is going to basically take off the top layer of your skin, not in like, not the top layer of your skin, but it's going to ex gently exfoliate your skin. That way it removes all the dead skin cells and it's going to help fight wrinkles and fade scarring and fade um, freckles and stuff like that and also just even out your skin tone and just make it look really great and then your skin can rejuvenate itself and grow back new skin so it's not like a chemical peel or anything like that so you're not going to end up with a huge like massive face injury where your whole skin is peeled off it's not like that or anything it's very gentle it's something that you use over time and you eventually see the improvement in your skin this is ideal if you have acne skin if you have acne scarring or anything like that where you have a lot of uh, marks left over and scarring and unevenness. This is going to help fade those leftover marks and also make your skin more even so it's not lumpy from different acne scars and stuff. It says professional microdermabrasion has been around for decades and has been clinically proven to give you more younger, vibrant, glowing skin. It uses the same aluminum oxide crystals embedded in the top of the head that are used in $10,000 machines found at your doctor's office. So basically the head that it comes with has a little fine crystal um, texture to it that way it gently removes your skin and also when you turn it on it kind of sucks your skin so it's going to suck back all that dead skin and you can even see the skin when you take it apart and clean it out and stuff. Okay so it comes with little booklets that tell you stuff. It also comes with a warranty card which I should probably be sending that in. Um, so it is under warranty which is pretty cool and then it has just different like warning stuff and then this booklet with a um, CD on how to use it. I actually did watch the CD. It's really helpful that way. It can kind of just give you a visual on how to use it. I'm going to be going over that in my video, but if you want the one from the company, the exact step-by-steps and everything, then I would definitely watch that because it's very helpful and you definitely want to read the instructions on this and watch the DVD. That way you don't damage your skin because something like this can be dangerous if you don't use it correctly and you can scar your skin and you can even scratch it and stuff like that and cause scabbing. So you want to make sure you do it correctly but it's nothing to be afraid of because I was pretty scared when I first used it. I mean, even after watching a few girls do it on YouTube, it was still pretty scary for me because I've never done anything like that. But it's nothing to be afraid of. As long as you use it right, then it's not going to hurt your skin at all. It's only going to make it look great. Then you get some of the little refill heads. These are different um, amounts of how harsh the exfoliation is. So the blue I think is the harshest and the green is the one that's not as harsh. I haven't tried these yet just because I've still been using the beginner one. Um, I don't have extremely bad acne prone skin or I don't have a lot of acne scarring so I don't feel as though I need to use one that's really harsh yet but you definitely want to make sure you work up to it and you always start with this one right here that already comes on it. You also get an interchangeable head right here for the bigger ones because the hole is obviously bigger. And you can also use this on your body as well if you have back acne or on your shoulders or your chest or something like that. It's really great at just removing all that dead skin cells because you don't exfoliate your back and your chest as much so that's great for that. So you would want to use the bigger tougher heads for that just because um, it is, you know, they're bigger so it's going to cover more surface area. And now that I'm looking at these, it actually looks like the green ones are tougher looking than the blue ones. So, um, But I'm sure it tells you in the book. I just haven't went to those yet, so I'm not sure. So this is what the thing actually looks like. And it's pretty large. It fits in your hand pretty well. It's not too heavy to hold. It has an on and off switch right there. And then it's got the PMD logo. And then this is what the brush head looks like. I keep saying brush head, but I mean the applicator head thing and then it just has a cord like this you have to plug this in to use it it's not a charger or anything like that you have to have it plugged in and it will light up when it is plugged in 
So to change the heads, you just have to take it off like this and they pull right out. There's also a filter down in there that will show you, um, like you can clean it out when it starts to get dirty because your dead skin cells are gonna build up in there. So it's really easy to take everything off. You wanna make sure everything snapped on right before you use this. So you wanna make sure that you start off with a bare face. You don't wanna have any makeup on it or anything. You wanna remove all of your makeup and cleanse your skin with a gentle cleanser. You, and skip the toner and everything for right now. We will get into that afterwards. So wait till your face is totally dry. Don't exfoliate with a scrub or anything like that before. Just use a gentle foaming cleanser. And for that, I really like my Aveeno um, foaming cleanser for that one. So you can start anywhere on your face. It doesn't really matter. But I prefer to just start on the side around my jaw and work my way up. So what you want to do is work in small sections. You don't want to work in a huge area of your face. And you want to pull the skin tight and then go over it with the thing. And you want to make sure that you don't stop at all. This is the key to making sure that nothing gets scratched or you don't end up with a scab or anything. You never want to stop moving it. You want to keep it going and just keep it very smooth. Don't hover over one area because that's going to scratch up your skin. You also want to make sure you're pulling it tight because if not it's just going to suck up too much of your skin and that could even cause a, um, a burn as well. And you want to always move in upward motions when you're doing it. You don't want to go towards your mouth or towards your nose. You want to be moving away from your face just to pull your skin tight back. You don't want to be tugging at your skin forward. So this small head actually makes it easy to get around your nose and around your chin and your mouth. And you want to avoid the eye area. Never go around the really delicate skin around your eyes. If you're using it for wrinkles, it's okay to use it around the outside of your eye area. If it's past the end of your eyebrow, it's okay. But anywhere around the inner part of your eye where the skin is very thin and delicate, you don't ever want to put anything harsh on it like this. I find that it was a little bit difficult to use on areas where there's not that much skin and it's like kind of bony, like the bridge of my nose, the very top, and also on the top of my forehead. So for that I just kind of had to work over it and try to get it to suction it up. It still works when you go over it, but if you want the suction to where you know it's working really well, it might be easiest to not pull your skin tight around your forehead if you have a forehead like me, and just kind of go over it lightly and it will eventually suck it up. But it can be a little bit hard on the bony areas. But just kind of work slowly with it, but just make sure you always keep it moving. And you also want to make sure you don't go over an area more than once. If you look closely at your skin, which you want to make sure you're doing this in an area where you have a lot of light, you can kind of tell where you've already been over it. It might be a little bit red or puffy, but it's not going to be extremely irritated and swollen or anything. But if you look closer, you can kind of tell in the area that you've kind of made the marks you've already went over. And you can even see the difference in your skin. So I can always kind of tell where I've already been over it, and I can remember it as well. So I've also taken a ton of before and after pictures every time that I use this machine. So you can really see the progress of my skin. It's really helped my large pores, which is pretty much my main concern. Also the scarring that was around my mouth and my chin and the sides of my cheeks. So it's really helped fade the old acne scars and it's also helped to um, fade some of the fine lines on my forehead. I don't have wrinkles or anything, but just from like raising my eyebrows, I do have some fine lines on my forehead and some on my nose. So it's helped to fade that. Before the summer started when I was using this, I noticed that my freckles were fading, which was awesome because I'm not very fond of the ones on my face at all. But now that it's gotten into summer more, I've been at the beach and the pool and stuff, so they've gotten a lot darker. So it's kind of hard to judge how well it's helped for my freckles, but you can kind of tell in the pictures of how it was getting better, and then maybe towards the end they look darker again, and that's because I was out in the sun, and they do get darker the more sun exposure that you have. So then when you're done using it, you want to make sure that you go over it with a toner. So that's going to help balance the pH back in your skin and add moisture back to your skin. So you want to follow up with your favorite toner, and for that I like using this simple um, facial toner for that on a cotton pad. Then I let that fully soak in and I go in with a very thick moisturizer. I also wanted to mention that I do this at night. That way if I have any irritation or my skin looks red or puffy, it can heal throughout the night. Plus your skin rejuvenates at night. It regrows cells and it just pumps itself back up to where it looks good. So you want to make sure you do any exfoliating before bed. That way you can sleep and rest and your skin can rejuvenate while you're sleeping. Then when you wake up, you'll have great skin and put your makeup on over. But you never want to do anything like this in the morning and then put your makeup on because that's just going to clog up your pores on the new skin that's exposed and it's just not good for it. So you want to always make sure you do this treatment at night if you can. 
and then follow up with a very thick moisturizer. I like the Olay Firming Night Cream because it's very hydrating and it will add all that moisture back, especially after you take off that dead skin. You want to make sure you put everything good back in your skin to where it can just soak it all up and rejuvenate itself. Then when you wake up in the morning, I recommend using just a gentle cleanser again to remove any oil that's on your face. You might notice your face will be a little bit oily after using this just because anytime you exfoliate, um, especially if you don't follow up with a good moisturizer, your face will produce more oil to combat that dryness. So you might notice a little bit of oiliness around your nose if you're dry like me. So I like to just remove that with a very gentle cleanser and then put on my daily um, facial moisturizer and you have to use SPF the next morning if you're going to be going outside when using this because anytime you're exfoliating you have new skin and if that's exposed to sun it can get damaged and burned really easily plus it's just um, messing up everything that we've been trying to do with removing the freckles and the wrinkles and everything so you always want to use at least an SPF 15 or even 25 would be better on your face after using this and try to avoid extreme sun exposure after um, don't like go to the beach the next day after using this. I was pretty much doing mine every Friday night It was kind of like my facial treat and then I would wake up the next morning on Saturday and my face would just look amazing And your makeup goes on so smoothly you can tell a huge difference Especially if you wear liquid makeup you can tell it just looks more even it's not patchy or anything And even with me I wear mineral makeup and I just notice a huge difference in the way everything goes on And my whole face feels smooth and I just love it and that typically lasts about a week up until you use it again. So it's something that you would want to continue to use. You don't have to use it forever, but I do notice my face will tend to start to get back to the way that it was. Um, so I think after I continue to use it for a few months, it should be... Um, it should stay to where it's very smooth and stuff. And my pores have gotten so much smaller. But as far as um, the exfoliation, your skin is still going to grow back and it's going to have dead skin cells. You're going to have to continue to exfoliate just like with any other exfoliating cleanser or anything like that. It is going to grow back and it might start to feel rough. So it's not going to permanently make your face really smooth and perfect. But as long as you continue to use it, then it is going to have really good um, results. Here I'm just showing you the way my face looks after I'm already done. As you can see, there's no redness or irritation. I made sure that I didn't go over any active breakouts because I was breaking out around the sides of my chin. I don't want to go over it just so it doesn't damage it or anything. And since they are still sore, I don't want to like ruin it or anything or make it worse. So I would recommend avoiding any active breakouts. Here's a picture right here to just show the difference in the size of my pores and the amount of freckles that I have. They're pretty much the worst around the sides of my nose where most people have really large pores on your cheeks. And you can just tell how they've shrunk a lot and they've disappeared and you can't see them as well. This comparison picture is of two different sides of my face but it's basically the same on both sides. I just wanted to show those two together because these are the best pictures where you could really see it. And I didn't edit these or anything, I just put them together. And then this next picture is a picture of my nose, and this actually shows what a difference it made on my blackheads. I didn't mention this in the review part because I forgot about it, but it made a huge difference in the amount of blackheads on my nose. The lighting looks different in this picture just because it was taken at different times of the day, and on different days, of course, it was six weeks apart. You can see a bunch of little black dots. Those are the blackheads on my nose, and I've done everything in my power to try to get rid of them, and this is the only thing that has truly worked for, and they haven't come back which I've been really surprised about because normally a lot of the creams and treatments you can use them but then within a week they come back but after the six weeks you can hardly see any blackheads at all my freckles look a little bit darker but then again that's because I was out in the sun more but the blackheads have greatly improved and I think that is because it helps to shrink your pores and also was suctioning out a lot of that dirt and stuff so it just sucked everything out and then shrunk my pores so it wasn't like large open pores that could just fill back up because with a lot of creams that's usually what happens it will clear all the dirt out but then you have that open pore that's just going to fill back up with a blackhead again. So if there's anything that I forgot to mention I will have that on my blog and all of the links and everything will be on there or in the description box so make sure you check that if you're still having a question or you're wanting to know you can always leave me a comment as well and I will get back to you if you have any questions or concerns about this and I also wanted to tell you guys about a coupon code that you're going to get for 25% off your purchase if you go to personalmicroderm.com so I will have the link at the top of the description box so go ahead and click on that and you can check out their website and everything and um, there also will be my uh, coupon code, which is just my username, which is GlamMeUp8, 
that will be listed below as well and if you use that coupon code at checkout you can get 25% off so that's a really great deal you can get a portion of it off your purchase and you can get it for a lot cheaper so let me know your thoughts on this product if you have tried it out and if it's worked for you and how much you like it and everything and please let me know if you plan on buying this I think it's really great for acne scars it's the only thing I think that will really totally get rid of acne scars it's just removing that top layer of skin and letting it grow back and that will help with the unevenness as well so I've seen a lot of girls that do have bad acne scarring and have said that this works really great so if you want to see more reviews just search it on YouTube of like people with different skin types and everything and by the way if I didn't mention my skin type is pretty much combination to dry so this has helped me extremely well with the dry skin and unevenness of my skin tone and texture so I've really noticed a huge improvement and I will continue to use this I hope this review wasn't too long and I hope you guys enjoyed it and let me know your thoughts in the comments below and check out my blog for all the links and all that stuff so thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you all soon bye everybody